All right, guys. Seems like the most question I get asked on eBay is how I do my glass. So I'm going to try to show you guys how it's done here. <clears throat> what I do is I use scotch tape. Now there's a couple things you're going to want to do before you paint your model, just to keep the paint from lifting when you're doing the tape. And uh, what I like to do, so I'll just take a piece of 1,000 grit sandpaper and just scuff up the roof anywhere that tape might touch the model just so you don't peel up any paint later on you want to scuff all these little nooks and crannies just anywhere you think the tape might sit I'll usually just scuff the whole roof and also you want to use a good primer I use uh, this style res I think it's made by Badger seems to stick well to resin which a lot of paint doesn't so the first thing you're going to want to do here is uh, also you want this to be the last step when building the model you don't want to be t drilling any holes for mirrors or anything like that so you don't get any dust stuck to the back of the tape all right, so first thing we'll do here is just grab a little piece of tape. I like to hold it with some tweezers. And I'll just kind of build a piece of, all right, good, there's a hair there. Uh, I'll just rough cut this, just close to size. It doesn't have to be, you want to leave a little bit of overlap on each end get the tape off the scissors there. Use a nice sharp pair of scissors for this as well. And now another thing I'll do here, this is just a piece of paper with a piece of Tamiya scotch tape overlapping the edge a little bit. And this will just, in case that scotch tape wants to fold over, it won't stick to your roof and possibly lift any paint later on. So I got my piece of tape here. And what you want to do is just cut a curve on the bottom. Something that's going to hopefully match the bottom of the windshield here. Let's see how this works. This might take a couple attempts. I'm going to line it up. Right on the edge of that trim there. Just kind of tap it down with the toothbrush. We're not pushing down very hard right now. Yeah, that one didn't quite line up here. Let's see. Kind of hard to do this on camera. Can't get as close as I need to. Alright, I got a little bit too much of a curve cut in there, so I'll make a slightly less round cut here. Let's try that. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to get it get it close. You just kind of tap it down there, that's looking good. start pushing down the sides over here this is overlapping a little bit on the bottom I could trim that off later and I want to burnish this down tight now with the toothpick it's got a good fit no wrinkles no warping Just push this down around all four edges here while keeping it on the camera. Alright. I like that. Now get yourself a 
brand new razor blade. I prefer using a razor blade over an X-Acto blade. It seems to cut a little, a little easier for me. And we'll just come in here. First thing I'll do is trim this bottom, that over, a little too much overlap here. I'm going to try to use enough pressure to cut through the tape without gouging into the body underneath it. And we're just following the edge of that trim. In this case, it's black instead of chrome, but on a car you'd just be some chrome trim there. You just want to follow that edge. Try to follow it as closely as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the better you get it. The closer you get it, the better it's going to look. Hopefully my head's not getting in the shot here. Just get that lined up. And carefully just enough pressure to cut that tape Now if we're lucky we won't peel up any paint. And there we go. No problems. Now I'll just take the toothpick again. I like to round the edge off the toothpick a little bit just so it's nice and smooth. And just go around and burnish down that cut edge. that see if I can get this to focus I'm using a digital camera so you're gonna hear some focusing noise here all right there we go I'm happy with that looks good Now I'll probably do the same thing for this back glass here. Side windows I'll usually just cut some clear plastic and glue it in from behind. It's a flat piece of glass. There's no point in trying to do, do that with tape. And uh, as far as getting rid of the adhesive on the back, I suppose you could try maybe, uh, you know, I, I tried brushing future floor wax on the back once and Although it gets rid of the adhesive, it kind of crazes the back of the window. It kind of looks like a broken windshield. I don't know, maybe spraying it with an airbrush would help, but I find that as long as you, as long as all the windows are closed, you're not going to have a problem with dust getting up inside there. I even have models with the side windows open that still look fine. So that's up to you if you want to try to find a way to get rid of the adhesive. But this is, this is the, uh, this is the scotch tape window trick. And uh, I can't take credit for this. This is from, this is something Mike Buddy showed me. He's another excellent vehicle modeler, 187 scale. So, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.